coming up on that, sophisticated wow, mom woman and i really want to help you first not oh you're a struggling woman not doing anything with yourself and you're a bad mom and your kid is suffering in the background let me help you that's not the way to get them to help you or want to date you or to see you as somebody willing to invest in <laughs> Dedication, preservation, preservation. Take a look inside. Be your salvation. Do every good work. Every good work. It takes patience. It takes patience. Like a butterfly. What's up guys, Sophie here and I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to help hit the notification bell and don't forget to check the description box because I always put a lot of stuff in there. First, my best-selling book specifically for single moms will be down there and whatever else I decide to put down. So I want to talk about limitations when dating as a single mom because as I talk to other single moms, I understand that there is a trend and even maybe there is some advice online that says that it is very difficult to date as a single mom. My son will be 13 next month <laughs> and I have never had an issue with dating as a single mom since I had him. That's not to say that I'm out here dating everybody. I'm just saying that no man has ever been repelled from me being a single mom, not ever. Now, with that being said, I feel that this, that sometimes when single moms do have issues dating or they have issues with men wanting to accept them and their kids, it typically comes down to these things because I don't want y'all to feel like, oh, as a single mom, I can't date and it's harder and no man is going to want me because quiet as is kept that's just probably not true what it mostly comes down to is the way that you handle yourself as a single mother that lets men know if they should give you the time of day right so first don't force a man to be your child's father. Now, if you are dating somebody and y'all get in a relationship and y'all get married, then of course he is going to be a stepfather and he shouldn't just like ignore your kid, right? There should be involvement there. But what I'm talking about is in the beginning, don't try to force your child on somebody. And the reason why is because A, you don't know this man, B, your child doesn't know them, and C, is too much of a burden of responsibility, right? If I am a man and I'm just trying to get to know you yeah you might have said that you have a kid cool I'm just trying to get to know you for now because he don't even know if he want to see you past the first or second date which you should not do is oh I'm looking for a man to be my son's father and, I, and all men are bad because his regular father ain't crap and blah blah that's going to turn somebody off right and don't try to oh if I am on a date um if I'm on a date, I'm getting a to-go bag and my child is hungry and you need to buy my child some food. And don't do that. Because at the end of the day, that's not his responsibility. If he's going out on a date with you, it's not his responsibility to buy your kids some food. Yes, I said that. If he offers, great, fine. But it's not his responsibility to do that. The only thing that he's trying to do is get to know you. And based off him knowing you, he will determine if he wants to enter a relationship with you and then get to know your child. Do not try to force that responsibility on him too early on because that is something that signifies that you are just looking for a child's father and that's all you want him for and plus it's just too, it's just not his responsibility it's not something that he has committed to and it's just too much so that is definitely something that will turn men off and it will limit your date process the next be a good mom without him right at the end of the day men that i have dated most of them have not met my son a because i'm very protective of my son and i don't feel the need to have every man all up and all up around him and at the end of the and also I'm, I, that's part of me being a good mother and men see that because I have been dating men for a while and they have been like oh can I meet your son can I meet you but if I'm not sure about you no you can't meet my son and here's the reason why I'm very protective over my son and I don't like for my son to meet people get attached for them and then them leave I'm not sure about you what people think that that runs men away but it doesn't it actually shows that you are a responsible mom and it makes men look at wow if i have children with her or marry her in the future and have kids with her then she's going to have the same protection over our kids never think that when a man is dating you that he's always examining you as a mother and if you are a bad mother some men will date you some men will continue to sleep with you but they still think in the back back of their mind that you're a bad mother so this type of thing will be 
like, oh, um, a guy is dating you and three nights out of the week, you're leaving your child to go spend the night at his house and you're leaving your child at a babysitter and he's dating you for a whole month and three nights out of those week, every week, you have not spent time at home where are your kids i don't know they could be with the babysitter they could be home by themselves that type of stuff it will turn men off will turn men off from you or if it's a situation where you look all fly and your kids look like they starving they ain't been fed they look unkept that is also a turn off i feel like as a mother your kids come first never should your kids be starving and you and you eating up a storm or your kids is looking crazy and you all decked out i have seen that so many times but when men see it it subconsciously sends a message to them about the type of person that you are because a natural mother's instinct right is to protect and to provide for their their children first and if you feel like oh I'm gonna do that for myself work first and forget my kids then men observe that they might not always speak on it but they're gonna look at dang she's a bad mom and and another thing is not being able to take care of your children financially provide for your children we all go through bad things I will link my single mom story when I was struggling and I went through some things but even like I said when I had lost my job in that situation the money that I did get I made sure that I fed my child first I will starve before I let my child starve and, and nobody from the outside looking in would see that we're suffering because I took on side hustles I did a whole bunch of stuff to try to make money because that's the type of mother that I am never once did I say to myself dang I lost my job let me go out here and get a sponsor and try to milk him for everything that he's worth to take care of me and my son yeah could you find somebody that is willing to do that sure but the way that they're going to look at you is just that like some somebody who's just out here trying to use people in order to provide for their child when you should have some of that on your own and you should be able to do that with integrity and matter of fact when I had my son and I told this story on one of these videos I don't even remember and I remember this guy was helping me outside of pet boys with my car and um and I was cleaning the scratches off and he came and he saw my son he was talking to me probably for a good 15 minutes I was in I, ha I was in my master's program at the time make a long story short from there he did offer oh do you want to date me I see you have a son I want to help you those type of things that's a little different because from there he talked to me he assessed the type of person that I was determined that I was a good person and a good mother based on you know I was telling him what I did I was like a case manager at the time and he owned his own business and therefore he offered but what I noticed in those situations is that they determined that wow you're a really good woman and I really want to help you first not oh you're a struggling woman not doing anything with yourself and you're a bad mom and your kid is suffering in the background let me help you that's not the way to get them to help you or want to date you or to see you as somebody willing to invest in more so you need to be self-sufficient on your own okay so don't be looking for a savior so I kind of went into that but this goes into that neediness um, because at the end of the day, it's single, being a single mom hard. I mean, yeah, sure. I'm a single mom and my son is older now and it's not as hard. He's chilling. He can like provide for himself basically. I'm kidding, but I get it, right? I get all stages of being single mom is, is a hard, but if when talking to a man, you're like, oh, I just need somebody to come and save me. I'm so tired. I can't be strong. I, and you just, that, that is going to have the adverse effect because now what you have done is you have put all of the responsibilities on this men that you have just met you have put the responsibility of yourself and you have put the responsibility of your child on this person and once again all he is trying to do is to get to know you to date you and to possibly be in a relationship with you people don't want to hear about your neediness your breakdowns your baby daddy drama all this crap on the first date i have never ever done that when I was dating a guy just unload and just proclaim that oh I just need you to be my savior because I don't know what to do without a man because once again that proves too much neediness and it's scary for a man to get involved and get invested in you and get invested in your child and they're not really sure about you and now they have to come in and save you from your mess it's just too much and most men are just not going to do that they're just going to walk away so never be and if you feel like that you need to get therapy first because you need food right you need water you don't need a man 
and to save you. Yes, these are things that we want, but we don't need them. And when you come up and you need them, then that's when you put yourself in a desperate mode. And that's when it will exude from you and your personality. And men are going to be repelled from that because they can sense your desperation. And the last one is no baby daddy drama. Now, if y'all know my story, my son's father was not there for my pregnancy. He was locked up maybe after my son was born about a month. He stayed there for seven years. My point is every single drama that happened with a baby daddy, my baby daddy probably had it. But when I go out on a date, do I say this? No, I don't. The last date that I went on, because once I mentioned, I don't hide my son. I don't have a problem with that. And I show up as like my normal self. I don't look all desperate and homely. Like I'm just in need of help. And when it comes up, they'll be like, oh, where's your baby? He's not involved. That's it. I don't go into, oh, he's been in jail. He's this, he's that. I mean, just, and he's rants and all this other. I don't do that. Now, if after a while we have been together and we enter into a relationship, then yes, this is something that me, you, and the significant other can talk about if you have baby daddy drama. But don't pour that out on somebody because it's not his drama and nobody wants to link themselves up to somebody who has a lot of drama. With that being said, even the case with my son's father, never did my son's father situation interrupt any dating situation that I had ever have. This is not, when, when you're a single mom, this is not a situation where your baby daddy should be fighting somebody that you're dating, showing up to your house, talking all crazy. You have to have boundaries. No, no given day should your baby daddy be ringing on your doorbell and you got another dude in there and he unannounced and he just, who you got in there and all this drama. Don't do that. Have everything about your situation with your baby daddy in control if you feel like you are still stuck on your baby daddy you don't need to date yet and i have a video that can help you out that i'm gonna link down below because you don't want to come across as an angry bitter mother based on something that your baby daddy did have all of those issues resolved and don't allow your past baby daddy or whatever the case may be to be the topic of your current relationship because it's a turn off that's just like you wouldn't want a man to sit up there and talk about another chick or his baby mama all day on your date and you sit up there like i don't care because it don't have nothing to do with them so have all of that stuff resolved all right guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check the description box and i will talk to you guys another day another time bye y'all not ready for the show to end it doesn't have to you can head over to my site where you can read hundreds of articles and also you can feel free to shop my store where i have all of my products for sale and last but not least, for even more video content, feel free to visit my YouTube channel where I talk about a wide array of content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, stay blessed.